Hello there, um, Reggie here. Before this review starts, I have a couple of corrections to make. It's Emma Stone and Steve Carell as the lead in this movie. They're the leads in this movie. Uh, Battle of the Sexes. I don't have great light here, sorry. Um, I recorded the movie review at about between two and half two in the morning. It was really late. Um, I think you could kind of see it. Uh, my apologies. But I had to get it out. I had to do it. So, um, so yeah. Um, but uh, there's a guy called Eric. Uh, he's, he's actually in NCSI Miami. Or NCSI, one of the NCSI. And uh, he's Steve Carell's coach. And he's got like five lines in the entire movie and I, I don't talk about this in the movie review but he's got like five lines in the entire movie and it's just like such a waste maybe to cut out stuff like stuff he was supposed to be doing or something I don't know but that was just weird like why <laughs> but yeah sorry so I, I'm going to say Steve Coogan it's Steve Carell they're both very good actors who are who don't get enough appreciation in my opinion uh, they're great comedians and so that's what I mean I, I was really tired and it was really late and so whenever I say Steve Carell I mean uh, whenever I say Steve Coogan I mean Steve Carell you can see how they both have the same first name I, and Emma Stone I think I said I think I do say Emma um, but I, I thought her name was Emma Watson. Of course, her name was Emma Watson. She was Harry Potter. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's just a correction. So here's the rest of uh, the movie, movie review. Uh, enjoy. Hello there. So I just got done ba watching Battle of the Sexes. Um, yeah, I, I forgot my tripod, so I have to hold the camera. I wasn't working out on the table or anything so this is kind of weird but yeah it's um, Steve Coogan's in it and he's the main character and he plays a guy who's trying to be kind of a, a male chauvinist kind of saying like you know he's the best tennis player um, still like you know even though he's been retired he's like 52 but he still he still he still he still thinks he's better than the best female tennis players that they are that there are. And it's set in 1970 1972, I think, and it's set in the 1970s. So really it's a kind of a story about him. But it's also a story about uh the female lead. Oh, I can't remember her name. But um basically it's a horror story too about Kind of, she's a secret, she's secretly in love with a woman or her hairdresser, but she doesn't want. But you know, it's kind of taboo back then. It's kind of like a no-no. So she's and she's married to a guy, and yeah. But anyway, um, I kind of just want to do a quick review of it because it has been out a while now. But yeah, it is a really good film. Uh, it is funny and it's kind of. There are a couple of sad bits, and you know, you you kind of you kind of could take sides. You want to be on Steve Coogan's side? Do you want to be on a on the female tennis player side? And you kind of get a real insight into um, what female tennis players had to go through because they didn't, you know, they still don't get paid equally today. Well, I think the, the women to do. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, but basically it was just atrocious. So they went off and they started their own league, and they got uh, funding from a cigarette company, which is funny. But like I can't imagine that happening today. But it wouldn't happen today. <laughs> but um, yeah, it 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 is kind of like an emotional roller coaster because Steve Coogan's character is a gambler and. He kind of falls out with his wife, and he ca he talks to his grown son, and the son agrees to help him train. 
Uh, first, he, he plays an Australian woman. She's the number one. And uh, like he beats her, basically. And he, he kind of trashes her, really, without even trying. And um, But he's really playing up a character, the male chauvinist character, because I don't think... Like, in my opinion, I... I think I think what I was trying to say is that he didn't really mean it. Like he was kind of, he was just playing up a character, kind of just to make money, try to get publicity, trying to make money for himself. Really, I think maybe there was an underlying thing, kind of he was trying to help the female tennis players. Um, you know, and uh, because. You know, later on, then Andy Kaufman, you know, the comedian, wanted to be a bad guy wrestler, and he was a bad guy wrestler. But then he 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 only he says you know he can beat any woman, and uh, then he ended up in the ring with Jerry Lawler, and that that whole I think maybe he got inspiration from this. I don't see how he couldn't, but um, yeah, there's you know, and it is it is a very funny film. I, de I definitely recommend it. Uh, there's some adult scenes in it. Um, so it's not for... Uh, 15, 16 plus, maybe. Yeah, that's... Yeah, there's no... Par there is partial nudity. There's no nudity. Um, so, like... It's it's not it's not that bad. Like it's just it's more storytelling than anything else. You know, it's not that um, adult. Well, there is adult themes in it. There is like kind of uh, there is some. There well, there's a lot of adult themes in it. There's no drug taking, but there's a lot of parties and stuff. So, but sure, it was it was the seventies. You know. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, my arm's getting tired now, which is why I'm going to cut it short. Yeah, so I, um, yeah, I really like her. I really recommend it. Amanda, I think her name's Amanda, the lead role, and she she barely had any makeup on her, but they kind of did special kind of things, so she didn't really look like herself, and she looked more like... The person she was portraying, and that was really good. And Steve Coogan uh, had false teeth, and that kind of put me off because he couldn't really talk properly with them. And if if the real guy, if if that was the way the real guy, but then halfway through the movie, he could talk properly. So that was like a mistake that they made. You know, they should have figured that out straight away. Like if he was talking funny with the teeth. They should have dubbed them over later on. They learned that in Star Trek with the Ferengi. Sorry, Star Trek reference. <laughs> but yeah, they did. Um, but yeah, they should have done that. And um, but like, so obviously they sorted out halfway through the movie because then he was talking normal. So that was kind of weird. But yeah, it, it's um, funny part is when Steve Coogan goes to. A AA meeting for Gamblers Anonymous, kind of, and um, you know he's like, why, what, like you know, what, why is it so bad being a gambler, you know? And he's saying, you know, you should embrace yourself, and you should accept yourself, and and he's well, he's saying that while he's winning, you see, you know, and everybody else in the room is at rock bottom, and he's rich, so he's kind of. He can't really. He hasn't got really room to talk about that. But anyway, um, yeah, and there's lots of funny bits where, like, you know, he's having a tennis match at night, and he's like, he has dogs or something. It's just there's some weird stuff that goes on in this movie, but. Um, yeah, it it is funny and it is to the point and it is kind of it it kind of is a, a real 
the real I think the real point of the movie is like you know women should should have equal rights and this is kind of how to pave the way for future women to have equal rights and but even though today they don't and they should they should get equal pay and they should well we should all get higher minimum wage but that's a different video <laughs> but like yeah but of, of course it, it it doesn't make any sense like I'm a guy and I walk the same hours as a woman and yet she gets pays less than me that's a second class citizen that's not right but like you know that's what was happening it's, it's it's not as bad today as it was back then but it's still bad you know but yeah but there it is um so yeah there's something for everybody in this movie um but yeah it is it is kind of a, a comedy and it is if you like tennis i suppose you would like this movie if you like uh because you really get into it then when the tennis match does start at the end you really get into it like i really got into it i really enjoyed it um so yeah sorry again sorry for like this might be too close but i'm actually i'm holding my uh, like you know my arms really extended <laughs> i can't really uh, <laughs> that's as far as i can go if the tripod stand went walk about on me <laughs> uh, I'll be back to normal next video anyway thanks for watching uh, Battle of the Sexes is that what it's called? yeah um, definitely recommend it it is a comedy it's for 16's over um, yeah okay that's it see you later